Okay, so the Purcells, or the, bugabo, the Bugaboos in particular, has a bit of a, a rodent problem. They like to uh, chew on rubber. Uh, porcupines, I think, are probably the worst. So, what a lot of people do is put chicken wire around their vehicle. It looks quite funny, but um, reasonably effective, I think. Nothing like discovering that your brake line has been chewed while you're going down a hill. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work very well though. <laughs> it's not very... <laughs> better than nothing. Wheel wells are too big. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello everybody and welcome to the Purcells or the Bugaboos. Uh, brilliant climbing area at the Bugaboos. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the haze, but there's a Bugaboo Spire. And then you can just see Hauser Spire and the Crescent Spires. And uh, I think it's called Hunter, Hunter Spire or Hunt. Can't remember the name of that one. Um, I've been here many times uh, to the Bugaboos, mostly for, for climbing. Now then, uh, I'm here with my friend Jeremy and the past week it's been uh, quite rainy so I thought that was kind of the end of the fires and this morning when we were driving towards the Bugaboos uh, the, uh, the weather was perfect, nice and clear but as you can see once again the, uh, the smoke has, has moved in so there must be still some fires out, uh, out west which is a real shame um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a real drag. <laughs> so I'm camped up with Jeremy up on the, uh, on the ridge here and you get a beautiful view of Cobalt Lake and the mountains beyond. So we're gonna camp up there tonight and hopefully it'll clear up enough that we can get um, some pretty nice shots of Cobalt Lake and, and Bugaboo Spire behind. Right now um, I'm hiking down to Cobalt Lake because uh, there's no water up here. So we're going to have some dinner down there and then make our way back up to the ridge line here because you're not you're not supposed to camp at the the lake um so uh we're just going to camp on the ridge up here should be fine um not really sure what direction we're going to take from here uh really depends on on what happens with the smoke um if it clears up a bit i wouldn't mind doing the traverse that goes through over the glaciers here over to uh, Appleby, uh, Camp Appleby, and then there's a big hut on the other side there. 
um, where you get some great views of Bugaloo Spire and Snow Patch Spire. Um, but like I said, we'll, we'll have to see how the how this smoke pans out. Right, I better catch up with Jeremy um, and uh, we'll head down to Cobalt Lake. All right. Okay, I didn't quite make it to Cobalt Lake. We just actually needed to find some water for, uh, for, for dinner. So we're hiking back up to the, the, uh, the tents. And as you can see, there's still quite a bit of haze. Now it's quite funny because Jeremy's looking at the scene and he's getting really excited about it. Um, it's definitely an epic scene, that's for sure, with the mountains. I mean, it's very dramatic, but it doesn't really excite me because the, the light just isn't, isn't that great. Now I know that if I process uh, a scene like this, I could probably do quite a bit with it, either turning it into a black and white. Uh, the dehaze filter in Lightroom works excellent. And um, I just posted a picture recently on Instagram and it's not a fantastic image, but the dehaze filter really helps <laughs> a lot to get rid of some of that smoke. Um, the layering in this is, is just fantastic, but you know, it just, I don't know, it doesn't do anything for me. I do really like the uh, Bugaloo Spire. You can see where um, the shaded side of the north face and the east face, and you can kind of see the line up the middle, and that's the northeast ridge. And that's a, a classic climb up uh, Bugaloo Spire, and one that I've done uh, several times now. I, I have climbed extensively in the Bugaboos in, in years past, and um, actually the first time that I ever came out uh, west was to the Bugaboos when I was 18 and we spent two weeks here climbing um, uh, many of the spires in this area so it brings back a lot of great memories. But this hike here, Cobalt Lake, I've only done once before um, and it is really quite something. So fingers crossed for, uh, <laughs> for good light again. <laughs> I see that's all I ever seem to talk about in these videos is how bad the light is and um, how unlucky I am. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I am unlucky. <laughs> if you look down the valley here, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just horrible. <laughs> right, I'll stop uh, complaining and stop whining and start taking some images, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. 